Hello there my friends, and welcome back to our playthrough with the Vampire Coast. Now, in case you're wondering what the hell this is, uh, I'll get to that in a minute. First and foremost, I have some good news and I have some bad news. And I will start with the bad news. So, you see, last night I did record the, well, the previous episode, should be number 30, I believe. And uh, I actually ended, finished the campaign. I fought the, the third captain with the shanty. I got everything I needed, I built a building, and I fought this battle, which is the final battle of the campaign and the story. And I, lo and behold, actually won. Unfortunately, my recording software, aka Bandicam, decided to not work properly during that recording. So, at the end of all that, I was left with uh, a corrupted file, which was pretty much unusable. And that's the bad news. The good news, well, I should say that's part of the bad news, because the actual bad news is the fact that I can't uh, redo the first half of that video where I fought the third captain for the third shanty. So I'm honestly sorry, but that footage was lost and uh, the last autosave is one turn after I did that, so there's no way to do it again. So I'm just gonna do the second half of the video I recorded yesterday, which is the final battle with Amonar and a bunch of other nonsense. Which I'm gonna actually start right now. And I will tell you a bit more about it after the cinematic, I guess. The chart is plotted, and the sails below as the ship follows the course revealed by the map. The order is given. Drop anchor. Your crew descends into the depths. In search of the beast. Amana is close. The ancient mailworm roars. In defiance or anguish, the predator is not used to the role of prey. From the shadows comes another to claim the prize of slaying Lothan's guardian beast. Wolfheart's bane will become Fellheart's glory. But you are in his way. So, this battle, in case you didn't see the roster I will be facing, is gonna be one, epic, and two, uh, really, really one-sided. Well, one-sided in the sense that uh, I'm really, really over overwhelmed numerically. So I will have to face this uh, dark only enemies. The problem is there is a lot, and the there's two full armies, to insurmountable as it seems. Okay. The recording software will work this time, and uh, you'll get to see it in its entirety. And also, hopefully, your I'll be able to win again. Over. The Merworm is not yours to slay. It is a creature of Mathlan, Lord of the Deeps, and only I am charged to cull in his name. It has been amusing watching your sea-racked corpses stumble and dodder as you tracked the prey. But Aminar is Lothan's guardian, a creature aligned to the Asser. Who are you to interfere in such an ancient rivalry? The prize is mine, and mine alone. The beast is summoned. Your use is at an end. Prepare to face the Kraken Lord! So, in case you're wondering, you don't get to fight the monster directly. You simply fight some armies and... The monster then pops up in a cinematic afterwards. 
So, as I've told you earlier, we are only going to get to fight these uh, Dark Elves first, and after we deal with these, uh, we have to endure for 12 minutes, I believe. The mortars were pretty instrumental. In defeating everything the first time, so I will try to keep it. On my way. Lost in. We obey. To be honest, the only thing I'm mostly afraid now is Let it begin. losing the battle Stop. after I won last night. the units I did lose was uh, one of the rotting Prometheans, so I'm quite afraid of doing some mishaps that maybe I didn't do last night, but I will do my best. Mr. Harkon can go and attack these damn black guard. While at the same time unleashing some nonsense. This is not looking good. You can fight the Hydra, I guess. Okay, mortars can still focus on these things. I do believe we get some ammo back. Uh, once the the other armies appear. As you can see there, the murworms spawn swarm the battlefield because everyone knows murworms spawn vampire coast units. Spawns, spawn, yeah. Do not want to lose this unit this early. They didn't die as early last time. You can return, I don't want to lose you that soon either. Harkon also did a, a pretty great job previously. What on earth are you doing there? And units can sure get out of your control fast. And if you're wondering how we're gonna survive, okay, I lost that unit because of my stupidity, I'm sorry. If you're wondering how we're gonna survive all this onslaught... Well, well anyway, last time I uh, survived by... Uh, well, forming a few defensive lines and attacking them, uh, well, holding them there, basically. Blackguard is back apparently. War Hydra is almost dead. Yeah. 
So some of them do come. Uh, some of them do come through the middle, and some take the other route. Okay, Queen Bass, strike those. The other guys. Go for those. So what I mo did mostly was... Uh, was hold them back in certain key points, and then I would... Uh, I would use the gunners and magic and pretty much any everything and anything and everything I could. To well, take as few losses as possible. I would really, really like it for when I tell you to go somewhere, you to go somewhere and yes I realize those have anti-large also please please go somewhere when I tell you to I really dislike the terror geists. Last time I killed them relatively quickly. So, you know, you you shoot the bloody terror geists. You keep shooting at those, and you go there and reinforce. What? No, you as well. Ah, this affects like all the units. Okay. Didn't actually realize that the first time. Harkon, what on earth are you doing all the way there? You're, you're literally the most valuable unit. Honest, this is not going as well as the first time. Also, I forgot I do have some level of reinforcements in the form of these guys and like three fat guys and two units of depth guard. I can go there. And the fat guys, well, I can go there. Also, word to the wise, after all this nonsense is done, I still have to face that asshole Felhart. Now, thankfully, he has only a relatively small army of about a thousand. Okay, now my mana is pretty much gone. You guys uh, go there. 
There's also Colossus there, bloody hell. At least Harkon is doing well. Fleet Captain. This thing cost what? Five. Okay. Oh, you are. Jesus Christ. How come you're never where I actually need you to be? Okay, just need one more to do another. Ah, oh, forgot about those. Yeah, two rotting Leviathans because of course. Okay, Queen Bass, shoot. Well, what you can. Those, I guess. One more time on the sirens, I guess. So I should have used it on the death guard. Well, you, dude. Feel free to attack those or anything big, really. Any beefy unit. Oh god, just go somewhere and be useful. Get back in there. Okay, bye bye, Death Guard. Apparently, lost all my. Uh My uh, fat guys that explode. To be honest, I'm not sure if we're gonna win this this time. Maybe I just got, maybe I just got lucky the first time. There's, a, there's also the fact that my gunners are continuously blocked by fast-running bullshit. Deck droppers and other nonsense. Okay, you will retreat from there. It would be really freaking shameful if I if I did this again, and uh, and failed the second time when I succeeded the first time. Also. I should note that uh, the last time I actually won by the time it reached one minute. Yeah, why not have completely brand new units that haven't engaged yet? Where is she? Like honestly, where is she? Oh, there she is. Fleet Captain! Move! We serve. Yeah. Of course, now I have to deal with bloody Fellhart. Well, Fellharf, whatever the hell. What in God's name are you doing there? Honestly, I don't. I don't even know wh when they have the time to get so far. So 
But we're not beaten yet. This nonsense is not helping. Yeah, I have to deal with his nonsense too. It would also be really annoying to find out that this episode didn't record either. In which case I'm talking to myself for no reason. Yeah, here they are. It's not a lot of them, but it's fresh units, so... There's that. Queen Bess still has ammo, surprisingly. At this point, I just don't want to win the battle and be done with it. Of course, there's shit here that needs to be dealt with. Also, bring Harkon here because we can't hold without him. I know I'm kind of clicking like crazy, but... You, you get there. This, I gotta say, this is going a lot bloody worse than the previous time. Last time... Last time, by the time this guy arrived, I had the situation fully in control. Also... Uh, for Christ's almighty sake, disentangle yourself from that shit and come where I actually need you. Jesus fucking hell. I'm literally clicking like a madman. Because that's literally the only way to get anything done in this game once a unit is entangled in other nonsense. Finally, he's up. I guess he can fight Felhar, the Mosankur. I should I should let everyone know that if we lose this, I'm not doing it again. So uh, I apologize in advance if this is not gonna end up too well. Honestly, wish I want. I honestly hope this. I win this, but it's kind of undecided as of this moment. Though, if I can defeat Hell, Hell asshole, dude. Oh, never mind. He's fighting that guy. Okay. Why don't we drain him of some vigor? And some power while we're at it. Okay, the horsemen are dealt with. use her in combat. Okay, the Felhard is dead. Now we shall use him for some brute force. Oh, 
to us. All these crew. Zombies. Queen Bess doesn't have a crew anymore. Or damage sustained, yeah. Oh, just end those assholes. Okay. So, it does look a bit better now. As we're chasing them across the map. Harkon is worked by himself. Half an army at this point. But there are some... Uh, there are three more units here of Corsairs. Which shoot, annoyingly enough. Okay, one. Praise the Maker. And... And... I do hope there's no more issues with the recording now. I did lose a lot more. A lot more stuff. Like, honestly, the first time I lost... I, I remember 330 units. Now I lost 680. So... This was... I'm not gonna play any more right now. The, vampire coast the quest is complete. We're also gonna have another cinematic in a moment, so... Uh, I'll let you enjoy it. The Kraken Lord is defeated. His mantle of the sea's greatest pirate is almost yours. But there remains another task to fulfill. The beast is lured to the surface. Wolfheart's harpoon yearns to be fired. Now blessed with charms hidden within the ancient sea shanties, it thrums with power. Amana has risen again, but its flesh rots, for it is no longer Althuan's ancient guardian of the sea, but an undead monster within your throne. You have the ultimate prize, a treasure greater than any jewel, and with it your infamy will spread far beyond the coasts. The seas are yours. Its prey and plunder await. And that, my friends, is it. We have actually finished the campaign. I will continue because I may want to play it continue playing someday campaign complete we won the battle of the eternal tides and that's that we you don't get anything extra for that you are op enough as it is anyway that was it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it also um i did uh, elaborate on this idea more in the last episode but i'm gonna do it again here uh, if you guys, and yes, I know there's a few, there's very few of you who actually watch this, like 40 or 50. Uh, but if among those of you who actually watched and enjoyed all of this and would like to see me play another campaign with obviously another faction, do write it down in the comments below and I will consider it. I can't say when I'll do more of this game. Or if I'm gonna do more in the near future. Mainly because uh, Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 is coming out. And I thought about recording that for the channel too. 
But uh, like I said, if you guys want to see more of this game in another portion of the world, or maybe with mods, or another faction entirely, like the dwarves or whatnot, I am still fairly open to doing it, uh, provided I have the time, of course. So, yeah, write down your suggestions in the comments below. Apart from that, I would also like to say a big thank you to the few of you, again, who watched this series throughout its entirety. And also click the like button. That does help considerably, even, with, even in videos with uh, fewer views than my regular ones. So, yeah, thanks again for doing that, everyone. And, uh, yeah, that was it with the Vampire Coast, at least for the time being. I have been GDN. I thank you for the final time, all of you for watching. And I will see you next time, whenever and in whatever game that will be. Have an awesome day, all of you.